everybody this is money mom welcome back to the channel you guys know this morning I did a video on what I rarely spend money on right now I want to tell you what do I spend a lot of money on let's get started and talk about it and by the way a couple of these things may be changing and that's why I wanted to tell you this before I do go on with the list I do want to mention this if I feel I'm spending a lot of money on something it doesn't matter what it is I ask myself two things how do I feel after I spend that money number one and number two do I feel I got good value for the money I spent if it's something that I feel I've gotten good value from I don't mind spending the money if I do have it in the budget so the first one we've mentioned it before is shoes you guys know I use SAS they usually last me about three years which is good two to three years I probably should get them sooner than the three-year mark though yes they're comfortable they wear well I am pleased with them however the price has been going up so next time I may look for another option I have to tell you I tried the Walmart shoes uh, just to try them on and I will say I will not be getting those so I definitely would like to save a little money in the shoe area but I'm still going to be spending more because I do need something good especially if I'm standing on my feet all day doing demos okay number two a car last two cars we got were Toyotas we've been very pleased with them the thing this is where I may change not change the brand of car but the last three vehicles that we've had we've had car payments and I would really love to not have a car payment and because now that our family's debt free I don't want to have to go back in and have payments because number one we are keeping our bills lower not having the car payments and so I'm not sure what I'm gonna do about the next vehicle coming up but I would love to be able to not have car payments so I'm not sure well you know hopefully I'll still be on YouTube but you know then and we'll see what I'm gonna do by that time but when you are used to not having debt you don't want to go back in debt again okay so that may be changing as we may be starting to buy gently used cars I'm not sure yet okay number three this is one thing that I do spend quite a bit of money on services an example I do get my yard done and I am not sorry I spend that money at all could I do it myself yes if I did get the equipment we could but some of the things we don't have the equipment for like certain tree work um, now also dishwasher I you know I have to pay someone to install that now could I learn some skills myself yes do I want to to be straightforward with you no so I am not going to be changing that is if I don't have to number four and this is something else I'm not changing I do buy extended warranties many frugal people do not that's okay they have to do what works for them but I have never ever regretted spending money on a warranty in my life that has always panned out but the companies I've gone with have honored their warranties so that's really positive number five and this is the other thing that may be changing groceries I do think 450 for a family of three does seem a little bit high for groceries yes prices have gone up but the real reason why our grocery bill is so high I'm just being straightforward with you is sometimes I you know I buy things that we don't absolutely need quote fun food convenience food and so and then I haven't been used utilizing all the ingredients in my home but that's changing now that I have an oven I have no excuses and I've been doing more batch cooking and using what I have at home so hopefully I'll start to see the grocery bill drop so these are some of the things that I do spend a lot of money on what I'm hoping to change will be groceries car and possibly shoes if I can find some things that are a good value before signing off I'm doing a quick shout out to a wonderful YouTube channel I just discovered her name is D D E E Burks her videos are wonderful they're all about retiring on a budget she gives a lot of great tips about time management business goals retirement living on a budget you know having a healthy mindset minimalism I mean it's a variety she has a phenomenal channel I think she uploads a couple times a week I've only watched a few of her videos but I found them extremely worth watching I'm gonna link her below please tell her money mom sent you that's all for now I love you and I want to ask one question what do you spend a lot of money on I want to hear from you in the comments below that's all love you bye